What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the second part of、um, propositional logic. So, in this part, we are going to talk about、uh, the forward and also backward chaining. So, there is a problem common when、um, we have somehow like the knowledge base is a little bit, you know, difficult and complicated.、Uh, there are a lot of terms here.、Uh, it's really hard for us to like find、uh, the relations. Between different、um, logic here, so what we're gonna do? There is alternative way, which is、uh, we can actually draw a tree and we can find some relations、uh, between the different logic samples here. So first, we just draw this tree according to our knowledge base. So、uh, I can just make some example. For example, if P then Q,、uh, which is here, and、uh, L and M. Then if L and M, then P. So here,、um, please pay attention to some、um, the notations here. So if we have a arrow here and you draw a a line like this, then this is actually an sign.、Um, it's also like notified、um, in in the in the tree. If there is nothing here, then it's war. So just pay attention to that. So. In this lecture, I'm just going to use the example in our lecture notes. So here, the question we have knowledge base, and it asks、uh, whether the Q is true or false. So the difference between the forward and backward chaining is for forward chaining, we actually comes、um, from our knowledge base, and to derive our target. As for、um, backward chaining. That is, we start from our、um, question, our target, and backwards to find out、uh, whether the conditions are satisfied or not in order to make our question true. So here, first of all, it just、um, since here, as you can see, there are two, actually two logic, single logic here. They are true. So we just draw、uh, the circle、um, of these two logic. And you may ask,、uh, what does these numbers mean? So the numbers here actually meaning、um, how many unknown、uh, logic that we have at a node. So for example, this node here actually have two different、um, logic nodes. So、uh, currently we just circle it, but we haven't like implement the the truth or fourth fourth.、Um, Value to the node, so we just don't know. So that is two here.、Um, the same for the logic、uh, for the point here, since we get it, it has a point P and A unknown. So this point here、uh, is two.、Um, here the line here is it has it only has P and P is unknown. So the same stuff. This is one. So first of all, we are going to implement A. So as you can see, if we let A Um, become true, then this value and this value decrease to one.、Um, so for this point here, it only has one unknown node, which is P, and for the point here is B.、Um, however, we will only like move forward when the node here decrease to zero. So here, as you can see, it's just one and two here. So we just do nothing. And next. Uh, we will also implement B here, and when we know both A and B are true here,、uh, we can actually denote that、uh, the value for the L here, L here is true as well, and、uh, we decrease、uh, this node from one to zero since both of these nodes are known as one or say true. So yeah, next we just move forward. We let L to be true. And since we know B is true as well, then we can derive M is true as well. And、uh, you can also see the node here decrease from one to zero since L here here is known as well. Um, wait, let me check here. Okay, so here you could say you could see the P here. Once the both nodes L and M are known, then this one will decrease to zero. And the P will become one as well. And、uh, when P is known, 
So you may ask, okay, whether we should go um, this way to L or this way to Q. So I would say like um, in the questions, we actually have um, just like the DFS, BFS, um, those kind of sequence. Uh, we are going to start uh, from according to the alphabet sequence. So just starting from this um, uh, smallest one, which is L here. So after we know P, we come to L again. Um, but you know, it doesn't change anything. Then we go back to Q. So after we know Q, okay, um, it it satisfies. Um, it proves our target is true. So for the forward training, as you can see, uh, it starts from at the very beginning. However, it's sometimes, uh, not sometimes, it's always, you know, if the tree is really complicated, then you have to um, nearly know every node in the tree, and that could be really, really troublesome and um, consume a lot of time. So this is why we use the backward chaining. So backward chaining is much more um, faster as it doesn't like need to prove everything. It's just like, uh, okay, I want to prove this and uh, I need to know something, whether that's satisfied or not, to prove it, to prove the target. And, and it's pretty, I think, straightforward. So as you can see here, here is a green circle that is our target. So we are we are going to start from a target. So first of all is if we want to prove that Q is true, then we have to prove the P is true since that is the only way. However, when we want to prove P is true, we actually have um, two different ways. One is uh, from L. Oh, sorry. We we uh, we can. There is only one way which is to prove uh, both L and M are true, since this is the only way that points um, to P here. So in order to prove L is true, we actually got two um, ways here. One is to prove, so which is this way. So this way is both A and B are true. Um, and uh, the second way is P and A are true. However, P here we don't we currently don't know yet, so we can just go this way, and this way we know since um, by given the knowledge base, the both no A and B are true, so we know L is true, and uh, in order to prove, so as you can see, the circle here becomes solid inside, uh, and in order to prove M is true. Uh, there's another way which is to prove L and B to be true. Um, so L is true uh, as we proved before. So B is true as well uh, as given in the knowledge base. So we can prove M is true. So yeah, we have done that. So by given L and M true is are true, we can know that P is true here. And by giving P is true, then Q is true. So quite straightforward. Um, so for backward training, um, it's faster and uh, easier. So I believe, like in exams, normally, um, it, it won't just give you a tree. It will like give you this knowledge base and ask you to analyze or to prove um, the query um, by using a forward or backward training. So you have to draw, you have to draw the uh, the tree yourself. So just make this annotation clearly um, to make sure that you understand the concept. So this, the the, chan the forward backward channel, I believe is quite straightforward. Um, so in the next lecture, we're going to talk about the first logic, um, set, sorry, uh, first order logic. Um, so thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you in the next tutorial.